let's look at the amniotic fluid. So amniotic fluid, uh, the only way to do it is to place the probe parallel to maternal spine. Please jangan letak sengit, you know, don't put it sengit-sengit. It has to be straight. I mean, we, we can't really do it at 90 degrees, but as straight as possible, parallel to maternal spine. When do we do AFI? When do we do SDP? SDP stands for single deeper spool. So basically, put your probe parallel to maternal spine and just sweep through the whole, ab uh, the whole uh, maternal abdomen and just pick uh, an area that does not have any fetal parts and no uh, cord. Okay, it has to be empty, it has to be void of anything. Normal range is from 2 to 8, and this is taken before 28 weeks. Above 28 weeks, you will need to do an amniotic fluid index uh, measurement in which you will do everything um, in four quadrants. The normal range is from 9 to 22. Again, these ranges differ. Um, some places may take 8 to 20. So this one, the first, please check again with your, um, with your management and see what range is accepted. But uh, please take note, yeah, above 28 weeks, you must do uh, four quadrants AFI. It's very simple. Just put the probe parallel to maternal spine, choose caliper or choose measurement, and then choose AFI. So for this machine, it is labeled as MVP, maximum vertical pocket. So it's all the same. If you don't have MVP, you can just choose quadrant one and measure. Or if you have SDP, single deeper spool, you can just choose that to measure. Or you can also use caliper to measure because it's only one measurement. So put it at the deepest portion. So you don't measure here, okay? Put it at the deepest portion that's available. So this is for. Don't measure like that. Or like that. Okay. Has to be straight. And with your probe straight parallel to maternal spine. So this measurement is 4.26 centimeters. 4.26 centimeters is normal. The normal range is 2 to 8 centimeters. And then above 28 weeks, you need to do four quadrants. Divide the maternal abdomen into four quadrants. Okay. Uh, you can it can be either way. This can be quadrant one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four. It doesn't matter. Uh, as long as it's four and all different. And then choose one. So again, with the probe parallel to the maternal spine, do one, two, three, four quadrant. So I like to actually just choose um. Um, if you see in your machine, you will have like a, a, a four quadrant, four quadrant image. So I like to choose that and just choose all my quadrants and then look at that. It's the same thing. We measure at the largest part where there is nothing in the AFI. So the machine will actually uh, sum up all your measurements. So quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, quadrant four, and the machine will sum it up. And this gives out a reading of 15.04 centimeters, and this is normal. Okay. Um, it's quite easy to do. You just have to take the deeper spool without any fetal parts and without any uh, umbilical cords. If you're not sure whether there's any cord or not, uh, please on color, on color, and then you can see if there's color, then the cord is actually there.